Racial injustice and racial prejudice is something our world has been suffering from, from over, for over 300 years. The reasons behind it, the effects it has had, and the outcome has affected and continues to affect our world as we know it. Hello, officer. Yes, I'd like to report a suspicious character. Yes, he's black, about five feet tall, and wearing a dark hoodie. He's coming out of the house next door with a few bags filled with I don't know what. I think he might be robbing him. them. Okay, we'll dispatch an officer right away. Now, the officers arise, and immediately they say, Get on your knees, hands behind your head. And, of course, the guy is freaking out. He's scared. Officers, what have I done wrong? I don't understand what's going on. You were robbing this house, putting bags in your car. Officers, I don't know what you're talking about, but I live here, and I'm putting bags in the house. I just bought this place. Sorry, sir, but we're going to need proof of that. Okay, well, I can't do that if I'm in cuffs. You realize that, right? It's in my glove compartment, and my ID's in my pocket. Oh, we're sorry for the inconvenience, sir. We did some digging, and you are right. You do own this place. Very sorry. Many people from all backgrounds, from all over the world, have suffered these kinds of injustices, racial injustice and racial prejudice, despite the background, despite their age, and this is all due to unjust laws and regulations. Now, many of you may already know this, but racial injustice and uh, racial prejudice is hatred towards others who are of a different race, color, or culture. Now, racial injustice is when a system is set and believed to be fair to everyone and equal to everyone when in reality it is all just benefiting one party while making it nearly impossible for other parties to thrive or to succeed in this world um, racial injustice and racial prejudice all started as early as the 1700s and unfortunately it does continue to this day um, up to our modern time, there are many, many cases of racial prejudice and racial injustice. Some of the main causes are discriminatory policy, representation in media, um, quick unconscious judgments, and community ties. Um, an example with community ties is um, when you are raised in a specific kind of household or neighborhood or environment you can develop the same thoughts as those people you're around and even develop the same kind of actions they have and you can develop that into yourself and without thinking you can um, pick up their actions and thoughts and you can repeat them not knowingly so that's for community ties now there are many negative effects that come from racial injustice and prejudice um, now, some of those are um, depression, PTSD, and anxiety, and much more. And many don't realize this, but when they, there are racist acts that are being committed, it causes this cycle, never-ending cycle. It's like a circle. It always comes back to the same thing over and over, and it never ends. Um, it goes from kid to kid, from adult to adult, from teen to de teen and it just never ends. One of the world's most popular gangster rappers, Tupac Shakur, once said the true meaning of thug life was a hate you give little infants f's everybody. Now, in, to show you the meaning of this, the kids or infants, the hate older ones or people period give the younger children causes them to grow up and give them that same hate back or even triple it, or times 10. So, it's Tupac was showing you that us kids, we are the future. And the hate you show us, the same thing you show us, we will give back to you. Sometimes worse, and sometimes better. So, what are the outcomes? Well, there are good and bad. Some may say that the bad outweigh the good, but it depends on how you say it. See it. It is true that there were some kids that got bullied young, and grew up, and made terrible decisions that cost many their lives, even young children. But there are some who use the negative energy to do amazing things 
like Tupac did. Tupac was prejudged because of the color of skin. Instead of putting himself into the box he was given, he showed us the world through his eyes, from his point of view. He showed us what it was like to live as a black rapper. And he showed us how he seen everything and how he wanted the world to be and how it should be. So Tupac showed us what it meant to be different, what it meant to be um, viewed as somebody. He showed us um, what it meant to be the better than the assumptions of others and how not to put ourselves in the box. He showed us what it meant to be true to ourselves. So all in all, there are both positive and negative to racial injustice and we should never judge people based on the color of their skin or their background or where they came from. So to end this speech, I'll leave you with this thought. Only you can be the change you want to see in this world.